As you can probably tell, you have not seen me since August 22nd, 2019. I finally got a capture card! This lovely face right here, you haven't seen it for that long. Hey there mates and v-mates, this is Dyson Devon, and we are back to a vlog, an update, a you, whatever you call this these days. Last time we were here, I talked about my Elgato, which was a very good subject, because I could finally record games, and I only, I only really done two, three things with it. I've done some art in Super Mario Maker 2, I've recorded some Luigi's Mansion 3, which I'm not exactly releasing, it's just for personal purposes. And uh, I was Let's Playing something with Donkey Kong Country Total Freeze, but I think I've got to restart that because I didn't like how that turned out. But i also done some Machinimas as well, so if you haven't seen it, uh, go in the description, but there's obviously something up there, probably. Otherwise, it's, uh, this. <laughs> so, 2020. What has been happening? Well, as you can tell from this video, by the way, I have finally got a trailer. Like, my own personal trailer that I own. Yep, it has actually happened. Let me tell you, it's been awesome. Besides the new place, that's like the only good thing that happened this year. 2020 sucked. Like, it sucked really I, I I'm sure this is not a new thing for everyone, but like... It, it really blew, honestly. I, uh, I had to go through surgery in May, so I had, I had what is known as, uh, thyroid cancer. So I had to get a surgery on my neck. It's kind of like right here somewhere. I mean, I can kind of feel it. So, what was basically, basically happening is I had to take a bunch of, like, calcium pills. I had to do a bunch of other things. But I got gout. That was fun. I sure love that. I got that from my uncle somehow. I mean, it's like it runs in the family. I didn't get it like a disease, kind of like the coronavirus or whatever. But uh, yeah, that happened, and I've been recovering since. Still recovering, actually. I'm still on those pills. Probably never gonna get out of them anytime soon. But I had to boost up some other pills, so I suppose it was a good thing. Otherwise, I would have got kidney stones for the rest of my life. But please. Besides that, I've also been streaming on Twitch a lot. Uh, this is not from 2020 specifically, but I finished uh, Dark Kong Country 2 The Lost Levels, which is a ROM hack, a really, a really, uh, a really hard one, and one that's probably not the most embarrassing thing in the world. Eh, but I'm not an expert of DKC2, so... Hey, I did my best. <laughs> Uh, but I also beat the after years. I even did like a Q&A session with you guy in the final episode. That was fun. Uh, I fit and uh, what I've been doing recently is something called all the hack hacks, which is basically me playing all the hacks within the hack series made by Golden Yoshi, who's the same guy who made who made uh, Sumar Road 2 plus 3 the Essence Star. So yeah, I beat Oh boy, here we go. Hack, hack 2, hack 3, hack 4, hack 5, hack 1, 2, hack 1, 2, 2, hack 0, hack 6, and hack 4 beta. Just finished that one today, but I mean, it's not gonna be today when this video is released, it's probably... I did yesterday, but by the time you're seeing this, so... Yeah, I did all that. And also, uh, it's not too late to see me finish up Tomorrow Road 2 Plus 3 The Essence Star, because I am playing that as well. I was playing that along with all the hack hacks, so yeah, that's fun. Alright, so now I got all of that out of the way, let's, uh, let's go to what has been happening hacking-wise, because as you know, I'm the creator of 100 Runes of Enemies, I'm also the creator of Crack the Hack, Alpha Sphere, Mute's Christmas Quest, Bill's Adventure, Dizel's Journey, fuck yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's just go through things like one at a time. So generally, I've been practicing a lot of ASM. ASM is assembly, it's a language that's very old, you probably don't want to learn it, but I'm learning it anyway because I want to hack the Super Nintendo! So you gotta learn assembler for that. 
So I've done it mostly for Alpha Sphere. I've done it for my Chocolate Level Design Contest 2020 entry. I've done it for my Bad Level Design Contest. I've made my own sprite, which is the crumbling platform. And yeah, I'm just gonna say, like, uh, interestingly, with those projects, Alpha Sphere kind of gave me the wrong lesson because I won that contest by the way. It was for a Halloween level design contest and yeah that really <laughs> didn't help because uh, I sort of rushed most of my entries in 2020 this year which uh, did not turn out as well as I would like. So it's funny that my bad level design contest entry is actually like better than my CLDC so hey Irony for everyone, but it's 2020, so I can forgive myself just this once. So, anyway. What has been happening with A Hundred Runes of Enemies, the Nightmare Edition? Cannot say much, I gotta be honest, because we are actually going to be doing another Direct in Winter. It's gonna be a big one. We've done a lot of things this year. We haven't done a Summer Direct, and that is because, like, we didn't have that much to show that was done. But we're gonna have a lot of things done by the time January rolls around. So that's why we're gonna be having another Direct on C3. When is C3? I have no idea if I have never announced it yet. That's gonna be really fun. Anyway, for 100 Runes of Enemies, the Nightmare Edition, I cannot say much, but I will say we are gonna be revealing a new character. That's right. Even though there's like so-and-so characters in 100 Runes of Enemies already, we want to reveal one more, and it's <laughs> getting permission for this one. I never thought we could, <laughs> but hey, I'm excited to reveal it. But I do have to finish that trailer soon, so that's uh, that's definitely gonna be in my to-do list. Speaking of trailers, Daz's Journey is probably gonna have a new trailer for the direct. Uh, I'm not sure. I need to talk to Chaser about a couple things, but. Yeah, definitely probably going to happen. If it was a venture, there's still a lot of things that we have to work out, so we're probably not going to show much, if at all, for the direct. And uh, as you can tell on my tra on my channel recently, I've released this project called Arak, which is basically a new I know level design rules collab. You can do whatever you want. It's all silly, fun and games. And yeah, we got new record. We got new recruits. Things are GG, and uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be released at C3 because uh, let's face it, it's it it has a very short deadline, December 12th, 2020. If you do not join before then, you will probably not be able to join. But uh, if you do join before that date, you can still make levels, and if not, there's still like. The, po the the multi-person levels you can contribute afterwards, but you have to join the tw before the 12th. I have to say that because uh, you cannot make normal levels afterwards. There's only going to be overall discussion and also there's going to be testing involved. So, if you want to get a level in, you have to enter about now. Glad I got that out of the way. Now let's talk about something that won't be in the direct. In fact, I want to finish it this month. And it's it's something that kind of went out of nowhere. And honestly, I wasn't really able to finish it on time. Twice. New Super Mario World 1. What is it exactly? It is my first major ROM hack I've ever made. And the reason why I'm finishing it now is really just to do my old self some service because um back when i was a wee bit young lad named diddy boy 100 i was very ambitious i had i did not have the skills i have today so why not collaborate with myself and finish what i've started and uh release this admittedly not that great project so yeah, what's going to be uh, released with it is going to be the new maps that I've shown off. It, it is definitely playable on that state. It even has custom palettes. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a new a new final level. There's going to be two new final bosses specifically coded for it. And unfortunately, I cannot announce the uh, release date at this time. But I'm hoping this month. 
because I I really want to just get it out of the way, honestly. But I just want to release it to the public just so people know what my big first plan was or whatever it is. But yeah, uh, I think the maps turned out really well, actually. Like, I think I did my old self proud with it, and yeah, I am very glad for it. Again, that will stay out of the direct, because I don't want that project to be spotlighted at all. It's just kind of gonna be a silent release, but I did kind of show it off in my channel, so I, I guess that's just being ironic. But. Back to the direct somewhat. The App Years 2 is going to be involved with it, and that is because I am part of development. I am responsible for boss coding, I'm, bo I'm responsible for general optimization, and again, there's going to be more in the direct, like more information, and uh, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Now that we've got the hacking projects out of the way, oh boy, my, my very, very long list of video projects, I'm looking at this... Um, script right in front of me right in front of this computer monitor right now looking at all the things on here so this is gonna be quick brief all that except for like the first couple of things i finished sakari remastered yay i also released top 10 worst super mario world daiso levels yeah that's literally it I, that those are the only two projects I finished this year. Can you tell it's been a great year? All right, so let's go through the long list of stuff that I have not finished. Uh, episodes three to five ha are to be uploaded. I still need to edit them. I still need to like chop it up, put in all the frames in the right places and uh, get both of us in there and it's gonna be great. We did record episode six. Except my footage were co corrupted, so that was very great. I I love that. Thanks, computer. Thanks, OBS. I I want to finish the whole thing by February of 2021, at least 2021. I hope sooner, but if not, I want to finish it by that month. Hammer Brother Orange version. I will continue it, and. I am considering using save states. The only reason I say that is because the comment section of those videos keeps saying that there's gonna be Kaizo hard levels that are definitely impossible for no save states. So, what I will do going forward is some for levels going forward i will use save states just so i can learn the level and then attempt to beat the level legit afterwards just so i'm not blindsided by a lot of surprises because that's like the one thing that kept pushing me back from the series is that i'm going through this blind and i really don't like that anymore i i kind of just want to learn the level first and then try to be legit that's what I did with the latest episode, and honestly, I think that's probably going to be how I'm going to do it going forward. But there's definitely going to be levels that are literally impossible without save states, so... If you don't like that, I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> episode 10 will come out. Eventually, I need to edit it. Part 5 is in editing, will come out soon. That will be announced until I get a pro controller, because I lost mine. Oh boy, this major, major wrench on my, on my, on my to-do list. God holy jeez, what project that is. It was never supposed to be this big thing to begin with, but ever since I did all those animations, I want to just up myself every time. Yeah, so everything else is recorded. The actual episode is recorded. I'm just waiting for one friend to do some lines. That's that's literally what's holding it back. And then afterwards, I can do the animation for it. So that's definitely going to be a while. And yeah, that the general direction of the series is, is going to be a... 
it's it's gonna grow in lore and all that, so you're gonna, it's gonna be real exciting, honestly. So I hope you guys are ready for that because it's it's gonna be fun. I mean, it's not gonna make sense in the end, but like, uh, it's it's still a fun thing, right? Super Wakaland episode four is in editing. Will come out eventually. Day four, not started yet. Gotta get to editing. Will come out soon. Cancelled. For now. Because, honestly, I got so butthurt from losing footage of one of the one level, I'm just not gonna do it anymore. I mean, I probably will eventually. I Like, I would have to beat the whole up to that point in order to continue. And honestly, I don't want to do that right now. So. And that is about it. Before I close off, Look, look, look how many subscribers we got. A good 500. Actually, a little more than that. See? Oh my. Is that 506? Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining in on the Dizo crew. So, it's gonna sound a bit a douchebag move, but honestly, you are not obligated to do this at all. But I have set up a donations page. Just for tips, you are not... Let me repeat that. You are not obligated to donate. I'm not going to call you not a true fan just because you don't donate. You are still a royal subscriber of mine. All the funds are going to YouTube and Twitch directly. I'm not going to use it for personal benefits or gambling or all the other nasty stuff I could probably think of. No. It's just gonna be for improving these videos, both here and on Twitch. So, that is what I'm setting up the donations page for. It's just tips. That's it. There's no benefits otherwise. It's just out of your goodwill. Because, honestly, you guys are awesome. Which other way you go? So, if you're just a subscriber of mine, you are already doing the best you can do. And by liking my videos, by commenting, yeah, you guys are the best. But yeah, there is more coming in the future. But for now, this is Dizzy Devon. It's never goodbye. It is always. I'll see you later.